Hello, Loot Crate. Well, it is the top five show again. I'm Christian. And I'm Mark. Christian, this weekend in theaters, you have Straight Outta Compton, right. you had The Man From U.N.C.L.E., mm -hmm. but we're also going to D23, the huge Disney convention, and they make some really good movies, too. They sure do, Mark. And we were like, you know what? In order to honor the Disney convention, they make movies all the time. They're still making, shoot, they're making Star Wars at the end of the year. Uh -huh. So we, wanted to get too, yeah. we didn't want to get too confusing. So what we decided to do was the top five mm -hmm. Disney animated films. Animated? Yeah. Animated films. Deep. That are 2D. So not the three. So Frozen, no. you can't play. Tangled, Ralph. you're not in this Wreck one. Wreck-It Ralph, see you later. Gotcha. Doesn't count. Top five 2D animated of all time. All right, Mark, what do we got coming in at number five? At number five is going to be, I consider this the dawn of the new 2D era for Disney, and that would be The Little Mermaid, the story of Ariel and a priest who gets very excited at the end of the film. Good call. 91, I believe, the movie is came out, I remember everyone was raving about this. It was, I think they shuffled in kind of a new animation team at that time, I could be wrong, but sure. whatever it was, it was, the, the music was good, it was another It was another one that was turned eventually into a Broadway play. Under the Sea, Sebastian the Crab. Yeah, and it, without it, I don't think you get some of the other movies we're gonna talk about on this particular list. Um, and it it's so good, it knocked out my actual favorite movie of all, uh, 2D Disney of all time, which was Alice in Wonderland, which would have clocked in at number five had it not been for The Little Mermaid. Hey, look, man, you're the guy that, you have the daughter, so I kind of defer to you making this list, so tell us what's number four. Number four would be Snow White, even though my daughter hasn't seen it yet because she doesn't like witches and you got the creepiest witch of all time in Oh, there. yeah, uh, the red apple. It's the one, that you talk about Little Mermaid starting off a new wave, this mm -hmm. was the one that started the wave. It was the first color animated film of all time. It was the first, I believe, feature film of all time that was animated, and the movie, it was just a great movie, and it's it, it's to this day holds up. Uh, yeah, I mean, without that, I would not have gotten one of my favorite movies of all time, Mirror Mirror. I'm just oh, kidding, man. but I had more fun with it than I should have. The the story of Snow White, she eats an apple, she passes out. Luckily, there's these dwarves that'll take care of her until Prince Charming can come. We're not going to tell you what happens. Spoiler alert! But a smooch is involved somehow. Hi, ho. It's off the work. Ah, go. good. I was just, <laughs> just watched straight out of Compton. Give me a break. Number three is a film that contains, maybe it's not the best Disney movie of all time, but I think it's got the best performance of any Disney movie, and that would be Robin Williams as the genie in Aladdin. So good, and now I know that they're talking about doing a live action version of this. It'll be very interesting uh -huh. to see where they take that, because you are absolutely right. It was one of the best voiceover performances ever with a story that really worked well about this street rat mm -hmm. that turns out he turns out to be, he's on the streets, he finds out, winds up finding this genie, genie grants his wish, he's able to meet the girl of his dreams, and there's the evil going on, a cool parrot. And it just teaches you kids that if you find something on the street, rub it and see what happens. That's creepy. All right, number two, Beauty and the Beast. That was all this time. Arguably could have been number one. But it was it, it was hard. It was hard. This I think number one's pretty ironclad, but Beauty and the Beast is such a tremendous a great movie. film. And it's everything that you want from Disney because it is a great story. It's the classic fairy tale element, but it's very, very funny too. Great music, one and, and a very successful Broadway play as well. This mm -hmm. this one was and ran for a very long time. And it had the classic fairy tale that you and it with with the spin of the the candle and all the the furniture all that became these yeah, that became things. helpers and it worked so well with and and bell you i know you think she's very attractive smoking hot yeah so i mean this was a movie i've watched this movie recently with my daughter she loves this movie the music in this movie would you say Belle was the hottest of the Disney princesses? I'd probably give her the credit over somebody like a Cinderella or a Sleeping Beauty. Sorry, ladies, you're not at her number one. Number one has no humans that we know of. Yeah. Oh, I'm question. sorry, what was the answer? I'll ask John Lovitz. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the Lion King is the number one Disney film, 2D of all time, any D of yeah. all time, it's if you're best, asking man. these guys. It's Macbeth? so yes, good. Is it? it pretty much is. I mean, you have the story of Simba. No, it's Hamlet. He's the it's son Hamlet. of Mufasa, Hamlet. and he has to go off on this... Uh, the kind of journey because some stuff went down at the hands of his uncle Scar voiced by Jeremy Irons James Earl Jones Matthew Broderick Whoopi Goldberg yeah. the, the, the vocal talent was phenomenal the story was great and it's just everything that you want in a Disney flick yet another Broadway play Mark did you know that? yeah good I knew that um, it, this, this this movie is phenomenal and near it's perfect it is a perfect mm -hmm. animated film. Gets you in the feels. It, it does everything that you want it to do. And it has this cocky little kid who goes through this tragedy, has to become, come back, become 
the, the king of the pride and it's it's uh it's it's great it, and it holds up and will hold up forever and elton john outdoing celine dion who did the beauty and the beast soundtrack right. elton john crushing with can you yeah. feel the love tonight the music in lion king might be the best music of any disney film i've yeah. ever seen as well so there you go that's our list we got some honorable mentions for you uh pocahontas Fox and the Hound. Williamsburg, Virginia, Pocahontas. Sleeping Beauty, hard to not put in there, as well as Al Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I'll Li throw you the Jungle Book. Is it, yeah. The Jungle Book and Robin Hood with the Good foxes ones. are my two favorites that I would have liked to have had on this list, but too. I understand. Love Robin Hood. Pinocchio, Dumbo, Dumbo. Oh. Yeah, I know, it makes you cry. Uh, 101 Dalmatians and Hercules. Yeah, D Dumbo. Does not hold up all that well, but. No, and we'll, for another discussion yeah. another time. That's <laughs> it, go ahead and put your top five Disney animated movies of all time, 2D please. That's Christian, I'm Mark. Thank you guys for checking out Loot Crate's channel. Make sure you check out our channel on YouTube, Schmoes Know.